a historic music moment called one of the greatest jam sessions ever. It brought together four amazing artists. Yeah, now it's a musical at the Beef House Dinner Theater, the Million Dollar Quartet. Actor Bob Scott joining us. Thanks for being here, Bob. So tell us a little bit about the Million Dollar Quartet. For those okay. who not, aren't familiar. Basically, it's about one night, December 4th, 1956, when all four musicians got together at Sun Studios in Memphis. Uh, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, and Elvis Presley. Uh, Sam Phillips recorded the whole session on a reel-to-reel, -reel, so it's there for posterity and uh, about three hours of uh, them jamming and, this and was, talking and other things. Wow. It's yeah. based on a true story. True That's event. Legit. Yep, true event. Just kind of uh, redone for theater, you know, to, to make it interesting. But a lot of good music, a lot of music from, from the 50s, uh, uh, a lot of uh, Johnny Cash, uh, Folsom Prison, uh, Blue Suede Shoes, uh, Great Balls of Fire, just goes on and on. Yeah, so what do you like about doing shows like this? I like doing it because I'm portraying a real person, Sam Phillips, and uh, and Sam was kind of a father figure to all four of the boys, and uh, at 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 one time or another, and eventually they all left him, but he's the one that created the music. He created the sound. The sound came from some studios by the way he wired the setup and uh, got the whole thing going. Is it easier for you as an actor to portray someone who is? A, a real person mm. versus someone who's a fictional character entirely. I guess it would depend. I mean, not a lot of people know what Sam Phillips looks like, which is a little different. If okay. it was somebody that was, you know, you know you'd have to look And you look just him. like him. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and it's different, too, because, I mean, he, he, it's someone that you have on, uh, on a recording, you would know their mannerisms and other right, things that you would study right, as an actor. Right, 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 which is, is helpful and did help. Yeah. But, uh, and Beef House Dinner Theater puts mm -hmm. on such great productions, has such great actors and musicians. They've got um, an all-star cast besides yourself uh, yes. coming back. Yes, a lot of local talent, uh, local Central Illinois, Logan Kirby, who does an excellent Johnny Cash is there. We've got... Uh, you know, That's Marvin got... Lee's BFF. That's exactly Logan, right. I know. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, we've got a great Elvis, got a young young man playing Jerry Lee Lewis. It's uh, ready to tear it up on the piano. Yeah, good stuff. And All right. good food. Yeah. We can't for talk about the beef house beef without house mentioning rolls. a roll. Yes. <laughs> did you yes. bring any? I'm sorry, I did not. Bob, did we've by. told sorry. you. Okay, <laughs> well, if you want to get your rolls, and you can hear some really great music featuring Bob, the Million Dollar Quartet. Yes. Uh, when, uh, when are tickets on sale, and when are they're the on? They're on sale now. The the uh, first uh, the show is the first weekend of July, the last weekend of July, and the weekend of uh, August, first weekend of August. And there are matinees in there around Thursday and Wednesday too. Good. So, so yeah. Go to uh, www.beefhouserolls.com and they'll get you set up. Yeah, and it's directed by David and Jennifer Woodrow, who we are yeah. big fans Fantastic of here at Salem. People. You're going to kind of give us a little preview with yep. a monologue from the show. It's so the set opening the scene. monologue from the show, and the monologue itself kind of sets it up. It's right after the first song. Okay, well, we're going to let you take take your stage right here in front of the French doors. Here and here's the information on the Million Dollar Quartet. We will put this information online for you over at CILiving.tv. Now, here's a little excerpt featuring actor Bob Scott. Now, ain't they something? Every one of my boys started right here. And we've been blessed this past year. Blessed for success beyond our wildest imaginings. Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, Elvis Presley, and Johnny Cash. And my name is Samuel Cornelius Phillips. Pretty big name for a little red dirt Alabama country boy, huh? This is my company, Sun Records. See, I was a radio man. Come to Memphis after the war. Probably could have been a big wheel here, but... There's a cussedness about me. It's hard to work for someone else. And another thing, I just didn't want to play the tunes. I wanted to record them. So first in 1950, I threw the cards in the end and started Sun Records. Now, nah, don't go thinking I just fell into the luck bucket finding these kids. It ain't that easy. There were a lot of years DJs wouldn't play none of my records. Back then, I'd pay them, and they still wouldn't play them. If I hadn't had faith in what I was doing, I'd give up a long time ago. Now, some of you might have heard I'd sell all Elvis to RCA, so he ain't on Sun Records anymore. Well, RCA called again, and who do you think you, they want to buy now? Come on, guess. Johnny? Carl? Me? Yeah, give me a lot of money, fold Sun Records into RCA, move up to New York City, work exclusively with Elvis again. I've been stalling them, but they're lowering the boom on me. They want an answer by close of business tonight. 
Wonderful. A little sample million dollar quartet. Sam Phillips portrayed by actor Bob Scott. Great talent on the stage. And don't forget Beef House, famous for those rolls. And right. for your ticket, you get a buffet dinner, salad, beverage, dessert, famous Beef House rolls, and jam and cookies at intermission. Good stuff. We'll connect you online to the Beef House Rules website at CILiving.tv. You know